Families Carousel. You know, I know some of you have been here since 11 o'clock and we're we get kicked off at 12 o'clock and that's what we're doing right now. My name is Tom Swazi. I'm the Nassau County Executive and welcome to the opening of Nunley's Carousel. Now there's a lot of great history behind this carousel and some people will be talking about it during the course of the day today. Uh, but a great part of the history is that there were people that cared about it so much. People that worked to get enthusiasm from the local communities involved. And two of the most important people, two of the heroes of getting this facility back together are standing up here with me right now. And one of those heroes who I'm going to introduce in a second is a little girl who started a Pennies, to program, a Pennies for Ponies program. And we're very, very proud of her. Let's start by giving her a round of applause, Rachel Holberg. And while Rachel and her mom and her, their friends built a lot of enthusiasm and got sponsors and raised almost $100,000 for this facility from different sponsors, it was really one of our county legislators who's from the Baldwin district. Who we're, uh, Who's from Baldwin here today? Anybody? Well, Nunley's, one of Nunley's first homes in Nassau County was in, in Baldwin. And the legislator from that district has been fighting for years, even through all the financial crisis in the county. We've got to get this thing done. We've got to do it. And Joe Skinnell has been fighting for Nunley's Carousel for the past five years. And it really did cost a lot of money to put this thing together with the building itself so that you wouldn't have to stand out in the rain like this. Sorry about that, everybody. And to refurbish and to refurbish the facility. So instead of me giving a long speech, I'm going to try and keep everybody as dry as possible and bring forward one of the stars of the hour. Let's give another round of applause to Rachel Oberg. When people work together, amazing things can begin. When kids work together, they most certainly win. The kids of the county all worked as one to help her start the carousel and get the job done. They collected quarters, nickels, pennies, and dimes. The big sales are chose to wash in cars many times. Adults pushed in and they spread the word. They helped by adopting the rest of the herd. The chariots in Oregon were sponsored too. Does anyone adopt the rounding board or two? Come speak to me at the Pennies for Ponies table after the ribbon cutting ceremony. The, th the thanks for the stay certainly don't end there. Thank you for, to the county for doing more than their share. They built this beautiful building and made the garden sing. Families to enjoy and grab breast drink. So jump on a horse and ride up and down. It's guaranteed to make you smile and erase every frown. And I want you to know that she's just got her moment in the sun here for a few moments, but this little girl's been working on this with her mother for years. Let's give them one more big thank you for all the work that they put in. And let's go cut the ribbon. Come on inside, everybody. Well, my children are here today as well. They're anxious to get started as well. So I'm going to ask everybody to participate with Rachel, myself, and County Legislator Scannell and do a countdown from 10 down. You ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 